these oh. quarantine characters. And because, like, you know, you've had a couple of months now. You can pick a good character, get good with them. Or you can pick a garbage character and get good with them. <laughs> Anything goes in Queen's there's no, There's no excuse to be like, oh, I've played this character for so long. It's like, no. Now, now it's time to do your thing. Oh. I just love to watch Steve Buscemi's Corrin. The buffs have just... You know, so they, do you remember what the buffs were by chance? Yeah, so the, the pin is a little bit different now. I think it's more similar to how it was in Smash 4. Um, there's some other little quality of life, but the real tangible gameplay affecting thing is the pin. It's now just way, way better. I think it's yeah. faster in like from being able to act out of it and stuff. Oh my god, that killed. Wow. It's definitely a yeah, pretty solid option. Now, but uh, okay, so we'll have to see some of this pin come out, see some of the differences in action. I haven't got to see Steve Buscemi play tonight yet. Um, Karen, the uh, character, didn't get to see too often. So. Yeah, for sure. And I think, like, th there's people that already liked Karen, especially Steve Buscemi. I think I've seen Steve Buscemi play Karen before, but dropped him because just not a good character. <laughs> Like having these buffs makes it so that you know you can play the character that you want to, which I think is a fantastic thing about Smash Ultimate. Every character is mid tier or better. There is no character that is completely unfeasible to play. Pretty much, yeah. No, not even pretty much. Like, what character is unfeasible? Maybe Ganon. Maybe Ganon. Yeah, I wouldn't say unfeasible, but there's some pretty rough picks. Like, yeah, like Ganon's pretty rough. Little Mac, pretty rough depending on the situation. Little Mac is pretty rough. Polarizing, but still a like decent character. Like, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say that they're unreasonable to play, but um, they certainly are. Uh, can be a lot, had a lot harder than a lot of other characters. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think um, the lower and the the tier list, so to speak, for sure, is pretty playable in this game. Yeah, I think Corin. I guess the question now is whether or not they are feasible to play. Before they absolutely went out. You just, well, the, yeah, I think you could be yeah. perfect, but you wish. Oh, that's One, a three, three stock from three stock. over Steve Buscemi. These cards oh. are not doing enough to handle these arc buffs. That's for sure. Absolutely not. I think the thing was like Steve Buscemi just really didn't. They weren't able to maximize their advantage. They would get a hit and just not get a follow up. Whereas Ike gets a hit and can just push that to like yeah. maybe fifty percent. If not a kill, so I don't know. Steve Buscemi, I know that they have been focusing on their current a lot recently. I don't think we'll see a change out of them. So probably won't I don't expect it. Right, I'm assuming so. Probably want to stick it out. Yeah. See how far they can take it, especially if this might be some last minute practice for the weekend. And yeah, I I am absolutely aware that this is some pretty last minute practice, but I don't know. I don't know. When you get three stocked, it's always got to be a blow to your confidence, and you're going to think like, mm, "Maybe I got to switch characters." Mm -hmm. But if you've got the fortitude, you stick with it. Stick with the Corrin. See what you can do. So we're going to story um, this game. Interesting. And I, I don't know. This pick terrifies me against Ike because I remember Ari liked to pick this stage a fair bit, um, and. Need the up B now. Uh, it seems like a disaster waiting to happen. So we'll see how it works. Maybe Steve can really make this stage work for him. Someone called Walk NT said I wouldn't happen to be allowed to head over to Cheeky Friendlies before I pull on Sunday. I don't know who that is though. Yeah. I so no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless I know who you are, no, you can't come over early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's Walker from National Tiles, is it? Surely not. <laughs> Sick Nick, did you just dox fly? Unbelievable. <laughs> So can Steve uh, make this stage work? He, so far, it's been doing well for him. I think so. I think Ike does reasonably well on this stage, but like, 
King oh, just oh, it. oh, if that was a kill, that mm. I think the thing is that like Steve is struggling to get these kills. That's the thing. Look at that. Ike is like he's a pretty heavy character. He's really struggling to get these kills. Oh, this is so tense. I, I, I mean, one character is at half the percent of the other, but this is even. This is completely mm. even. Wow, oh, that up air kill. Uh, yeah, it was strong. That, surely that got buffed, because that was nuts. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yes, jack. he was at 150, but, you know, I, I guess I just have low standards for Kyle. Oh, oh, jab was pretty good. Cool. Even percent right there. Um, trying to get a handle on what this character can really do. You just see it fail. Oh, Parry coming out. Take oh, very time. nice. That's an oh, easy no, percent. I still haven't found one of these teams yet. They're threatening no. space. And I think the the changing. Of the, oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. God, that kill. Yeah, no, look, I'm never going to get used to that killing. <laughs> that percent. <laughs> I think see Bashemi is still getting used to the pins a little bit. Oh wow! Very early kill. That's put him up a full stop. Really nice. He's really looking at a much different game to the first to the first game. He's definitely in control. Hopefully he can seal it out. Mate, it's a close set. Try and punish some salty on swings. Punish on that up B. Good presence to know that it was coming, landing there with sort of just waiting for Salty on the throw it out. Yeah, I, I think Steve Buscemi is maybe a little bit falling victim to trying to play too smart sometimes, when there's just some easier punishes that we could be doing. There's some free smash attacks. You don't need to be going for full combos. Just hit him. Look at that. Ooh, that, that up to it, not finding it. No, no punish. Oh. Still got a few of these parries get enough, but every time know. he he's not getting punished for doing his upbeats, and yeah. there's no reason to stop doing them. Oh my goodness! Just charge it. Oh. I think Steve Buscemi has really turned this around. This they, oh, I was going to say they've really turned up this game, but right now 66 percent behind Ike. That's a scary place to be. This was like a clean two stocks up not too long ago, but Ooh. Steve definitely um, still poised to win this one. Yeah, they'll fuck it. Wow! Gonna Ooh, kill okay. Yet. Like a bit heavy. 121% in the lead. It's a good place to be. It is, but can't sleep. Gotta be careful, especially oh, when they're as much as they do. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, great DI on that side. Here. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. The nair? That the... <laughs> what? Was that the nair or was that the back end of up air? I thought that was nair. I don't know. It but either way, ball. I was not expecting a kill right then. Yeah, it was a good... Was it was really well nice. Placed, well placed as well, but... Yeah, that was almost comical. He just sort of flew off the top. Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be back in one second. <laughs> it sparks it all. Well, we've got we've got a one game apiece. Looking at, uh, looking much better from Steve at the start of that game, but uh, getting a bit shaky towards the end. Hopefully, can stir up those nerves, keep it dialed in. Take a look at uh, what bands are coming out. We got Kalos Town and PS2 bands coming through. Waiting from Steve, waiting for Ike's pick. Not sure what to uh, want to go for here. You might want to go for another triplat. I I don't think it's an awful option, but now he's going to pick Smash for. Not a lot of room for uh, Ike to sort of face around on this stage, but that platform always works out nicely for Thor. Even if you've got a bigger sword, maybe you can make more use of it. But I don't think Steve will be too phased uh, by this choice of stage. Three, two, Smaller sort of footprint, but gives more opportunities for the, the pin to come out. 
catch Ike moving around. Not much to punish on that side B, but wasn't very well spaced. Finally getting some grabs on his up B. He's going to get in the habit of waiting and looking for them. He's low, but he's going to make it back. Uh, sorry about that. I'm back in Paris. We're on Smashville, and Steve has uh, already managed to successfully punish a side B and an up B. So, and there's a second side B punish. Looking oh, much more dialed this game so far. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're in a lot more control than they were previously. <laughs> oh, wow. Counter, Very okay. strong counter, but didn't take the kill. Cool Won't, not going to get too happy with that option, I hope. Um, we saw Dork earlier calling out Seltium with the jump in counters, but eventually Seltium did catch on to it, so Steve will probably keep that eighth in his pocket for a while. Oh, wow. That was impeccable DI there. Yeah. It was really just made it bad. right into the corner of the map. Unfortunately, you won't kill across stage at pin. Uh, Corrin's up B got buffed. Intangible. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, got it. Awesome. Corrin's up B did get buffed a couple of patches ago. Made it go yeah. pretty damn far. Oh, that's that's out of here. Okay, so we got an even yeah. game. That Absolutely up even. Like, with, it was around 90 before the hit. Uh, after the, yeah, before the hit, rather. 100 after the hit. Did have full rage, but even still questionable. For sure. The current neutral B is always a bit of a weird one where, yeah, you get pretty good reward off it, but the fact that you can't store that neutral B, is, yeah. uh, it's difficult. It makes it so, like, you can just read it. You know when they're going to do it. Yeah, if it was storable, though, it might be. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Kill. It might be pretty obnoxious if it was storable. Oh, for sure. That, now, that was such good timing in the neutral B from Soltai on there, where like he was able to get such a huge punish off yeah. that and get the kill from it eventually. Pretty much, yeah. Reefing him off the edge straight away. Wow, that was nearly a kill. Ooh. Okay. Instant pin right. into the kick. Stevie B doing pretty well. Oh, Frank Walker has just accepted my friend request. Frank, <laughs> you're in game. What are you. What? Okay, getting. Okay, go into the ledge of the side B. Hang on, I've got a message from Frank Walker. He says, hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. Stop giving this man more screen you time. You seem to have sent a friend request. <laughs> Frank Walker is typing. How may I help you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to ignore Frank Walker for now. Um, Good. As, as let's everyone. focus on the game at hand. Steve no. Buscemi is a stock behind. But, so turn. Yeah, oh, oh, wow. There. He's he really hit another one. That's he such good timing. He just wants to, he wants to kill. He didn't need that last stop. Um, again, a bit of a similar situation to the last game where we saw Steve kind of come out the gates with some pretty good control and really winning early on. Um, but this time, Sultan was able to turn it back around much more quickly. I think Sultan is doing a much better job at punishing things um, preemptively, like using the online to their advantage, whereas Steve Buscemi, I feel, is trying to play a little bit too honest. There's some things they could be doing preemptively that would be a lot more in their favor. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're going for a little bit too much on stage, a little bit too much read-based, a little bit too much reaction-based when... When you're playing online, you sometimes yeah, need to mix in a little bit of that preemptive sort of, you know, expectation, a little bit of guesswork. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty accurate. Um, we're seeing uh, these bands coming through. I don't know if we'll have a run back right now. That smash will end up. Not working out for Steve. I don't know what he's really going to want to go for here. I'm just waiting for him to get in here. Type of type of reply. Frank says, oh, "I'm not going to read that. That's a shameless ad from Frank Walker." Damn it, Frank! We're here to play Smash, not to discount tiles. God. As if any smashes can even afford time. 
What are they redoing their bathrooms? <laughs> what are they actually doing? Not even Nick could afford cows. He's the oldest among us all. Right, right we're waiting here back on what the uh, stage choice is from Steve Buscemi. He went. Uh, he he went with you know the, in the chat. Um, so we'll see it switch over there. Ooh, you know that. Okay, I think that's a. It's a good choice. Now that is a good stage for Ike. Ike can still do your short hops, your full hops, and do your up airs. He he can cover those platforms pretty well. Corin, I don't know. If she can cover them as well. That being said, I'm sure Steve Buscemi wouldn't have gone here without reason. He must know something that I don't. Pretty even off the bat so far. But I don't know. I think, yeah, I think this pick is not too bad uh, from Steve. No, it's looking pretty nice. It looks like Steve can really cover these platforms with a lot of the aerials. Okay. I respect that option from Steve. I, I, I think a lot of the time they could stand to just do more simple stuff. Though. Yeah, I think uh, Faltion definitely has a fairly telegraphed game plan a lot of the time. Um, yeah, maybe Falling it down a bit and just trying to play simple and punish is probably something that Steve will get more mileage from. It is always hard to do that online, of course. But Yeah, and I think playing the ranged game, Steve can only stand to win. Yes. They have more range, they have at least a projectile. I think yeah. I think it would only benefit. Them. At first I thought uh Oh wow. The, yeah, just do it again with finding that that neutral get up really not working out. I think he out a few times to ping that option off the ledge. Um, and then copying a forward tilt for his pleasure. But uh, I, yeah, I think originally I was thinking that the Ike was going to suffer from the four stages, not giving him much room to move around and be able to get pinned in place really easily. But uh, I think now seeing this Unova pick in this larger space, Steve has a lot more room to run around. Um, and as you said, play that range game, use that projectile. Yeah, I think they're doing a pretty good job of doing that. I. The problem is, as soon as Ike is getting a hit, he's able to convert it into so much. And I feel that Steve Buscemi is just, he's not converting those stray hits into advantage in the same way that the Ike is able to. No, that could just be a current thing. But uh, maybe there are some Oh, that's unfortunate falling out the back of the jab there. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say if it's a current thing, maybe it's a difference in the patch, or maybe it's just a Steve Buscemi thing. It's, oh my god, and that kill, I will never, ever get ready for that. I'm really, uh, really not happy of Steve picking neutral get up every time off the legs. Um, yeah, especially when the Ike is at roll range. Yeah. But he's just, he's he's clearly going to F2 as soon as he sees you get up. And it's, it, at this point, we've seen that Feltian's pretty good at his timing. So uh, it becomes almost a 50-50 of like, will I die if I pick this option? You just... I'm gonna see something pick up the elf Steve. Pick a ledge jump one. Pick Ooh. a drop ledge even. Getting that trade very, there. Very nice get... option there from Steve Um train. <laughs> Oof. If they can push yeah. this advantage, if they can get these combos flowing properly, mm -hmm. then I can see them winning this set. I don't think that there's anything that's really separating these two enough for it to be a whitewash. I think that Sultan is just really able to push this advantage much better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but unfortunately, Steve has been playing from behind pretty much all of this game. He to do so. so. If he's going to turn something up, it needs to be right now. He really needs to crisp it up. Got a good lead to say. Oh, a lovely punish on the side. Wow. Really yeah. nice. Completely yeah, even the up. Oof. But again, throw the way that stage position with that risky, risky pin. And this could be it. Oh, okay. Well, snap the blade. That up really get good. Frame in that one. Oh, this is a yeah. rough position to be in. This is very scary for Steve Buscemi. Ooh, oh, no. I don't, I don't hate the idea, but um, 
Yeah. Gonna go back to ledge, you'll be safe. Oh wow, this is so tense. It is very yeah, close. Both here. virtually it kills the same. Yeah, oh no! He's gotten the two frame and that's a I three one towards Soto. I didn't expect Soltion oh, to miss that two frame opportunity. Uh, wow. It's pretty scary.